What's up guys, my name is Andrew Sarrar, and welcome to the ultimate guide to mastering bass fishing. In this series, I will be covering everything bass fishing, from the simple foundations of fishing for beginning anglers, all the way down to the nitty gritty details that will have you going from competing in tournaments to cashing checks consistently. Instead of just sitting and talking behind a camera though, I thought it might be more entertaining for y'all if I included some VR fishing gameplay in the background, so enjoy that as well. And make sure you subscribe to the channel so you never miss another new episode in the series. But without further ado, today we will be starting with the two simple foundations of bass fishing. What are the three types of the black bass species, and why is bass fishing such a widespread and competitive form of fishing? Alright, so the first section of this episode is going to be about the three species of black bass, which include the largemouth, the smallmouth, and the spotted bass. First up, we have the largemouth bass. These are the most common and recognizable of the black bass species. They are known for their largemouth, which is why they are called the largemouth bass, obviously. They can be found in most freshwater bodies across North America and are known to grow to impressive sizes. Largemouth bass are often found in weedy areas or near submerged structures, and they are known for their aggressive strikes. Next, we have the smallmouth bass. These bass have smaller mouths than largemouths and are known for their bronze or brown colored bodies with vertical stripes. They are often found in clear, cool waters and streams and rivers, but they can also be found in reservoirs such as Lake Havasu in Arizona or the Great Lakes. And they are also known for their tenacity and strength. They are pound for pound one of the hardest fighting fish, and you will see a lot of acrobatic jumps while you're fighting them. And last but certainly not least, we have the spotted bass. These bass are similar appearance to the largemouth bass, but they do have a smaller mouth and they have more spots on their body, which kind of distinguish them from the largemouth. They're often found in rivers and reservoirs and are known for their aggressive strikes and hard fights. They're also very highly adaptable, so they can thrive in a variety of environments. So that right there, very simply, is the three types of black bass species. Each one has its own unique characteristic, which makes it fun and also challenging to catch. And this leads me into my last topic of the day. Why is bass fishing such a widespread and competitive form of fishing? So I believe there are actually two main reasons that bass fishing has become so widespread. And the first one is just going to be how widespread bass are. Whether you are fishing a reservoir, a river system, a large lake, a mountain lake, little park lake, you name it, the list goes on and on. There are probably bass in that lake. So with bass existing in that widespread amount of bodies of water, it makes sense why it's such a widespread sport because everybody can bass fish. It doesn't matter where you live, it doesn't matter what bodies of water you fish, there are bass to be had there. And the reason I believe bass fishing is also a very competitive form of fishing is because of how challenging these fish are to catch. Let me ask you guys a quick question. Have you ever gone into your local tackle shop or maybe one of the chains like Bass Pro Shops or Cabela's and just seen the aisles and aisles and aisles of different baits and it all does seem a bit overwhelming? Well, I can promise you that each and every one of those baits is on that shelf for a reason. It has a purpose, and it is because bass fishing is such a convoluted sport, and catching bass is this puzzle that's filled with thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, and millions of factors that factor into your fishing success each and every day. And hopefully through more and more episodes in this series, I can help you guys put together this puzzle that is bass fishing so you can have more success every single time you get out on the water. So that is going to be the end of episode one for us today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss new episodes, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.